fire. You don't need kindling when you have this. Bro gas. <laughs> oh my when gosh. you got the bro gas, you don't need kin kindling. Well, okay, you're probably right. <laughs> this is this is the life and savior of making a fire right here. He almost burned down the tent, but we are alive, barely. This is like number five of us almost dying on this trip. We've only been here six days. <laughs> gosh, this is gonna be scary. Why did why did I do that in the house? So you do admit to it. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Die. You're crazy. I did lose my breath for a second. I want to jump in. I, I don't want to jump in. Da -da -da -da. Oh my gosh, it's so clear. I can see your entire body. <laughs> Smart or dumb decision? Um. Dumb. <laughs> when I first got in. I lost my breath like immediately, but now I feel like it's like kind of coming back and I feel good. Can you drink the water here? Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll find out later if he has the shit or not. <laughs> After trying rabbit in Texas and here, I think rabbit's better than squirrel. And squirrel's really good, but rabbit is just that much better. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready. Freaking bullseye, baby! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You have impeccable blowing power. Hold on a second. Yum. And I said, why? And he pulls out his camera and I literally hit dead center. Oh, that's good. <laughs> dead this center. looks so good. I knew you could I'm bread in the food. Yeah. Uh, what is it? I don't know, know but it looks good. Well, it looks like veggies with some meat. Yeah, oh, we call yeah. it miso. No, vivo. We call it miso de lentejas. <laughs> Live. Oh. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> This is the house we stayed in over the last couple days. This is where we had our meals. This is the wood fire. Uh, I left the door open one day and almost smoked us out. That was a good story. Lots of laughs. I was telling uh, Sydney, Mr. Wells, and Scarlett that I've never laughed so much on a trip before. We've just had such a good time. So many memories. Even though as of now I haven't killed a red stag. I'm going to miss it and I can't wait to hopefully maybe a chance to come back. The kitchen... This is where all the amazing meals have been cooked. I think I've said amazing 40 times. Hot shower, hot water tank right there. You feed. That's really hot, so I'm not going to touch that, but you put wood in there. And even a gosh dang toilet. The best bush camp I've ever stayed in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> that would be good. Be good. Our friend has left us. And okay, I don't know how that sounds now. But Cindy left us. Yeah, she's got some excuse that she has some work to do. It's okay though, because Scarlett, myself, and Mr. Wells are still here. There was a there was a stag that came super close to the tent last night that literally woke us all up. But I'm pretty sure he came and like peed on some of y'all's bags and then left and was like Yeah, assert his down assert his dominance. He was like, You got you guys aren't men, I'm a man. But uh, we're getting ready, we've got the bows together, and we're going to bring the gun just in case, but... La that'll be last, uh... Last, okay. So we are staying a couple extra days just to hopefully get this done for you guys, and the videos are not over. So, Argentina is just beginning for us, as far as hunting goes. We're coming back with a revenge. Good morning. Got the trusty old rifle. We left the bow in the car. And we're slinging some lead this morning.
que se salga el tiro. Sí, está ahí, está ahí. Get on the tree. Mm. Ok, ya está. Ahí está. Champion. <laughs> <laughs> Argentina, red stag down. We came into the woods and I was filming, but I had the gun with me. And Scarlett, who's behind the camera right now, <clears throat> was in charge of shooting them with the bow because I'm second in command right now. But we spooked this bull and he ran out in front. We walked out like, we walked up like 40 yards. Yeah, we walked up and he was 40 yards away. <laughs> Hector didn't see him, but Scarlett saw him. And then we just stopped. He ran this way. And it was probably about an 80 yard shot. It was open, I didn't rest it on anything, and boom. Yeah, he free handed it. <laughs> and, I mean, you can't ask for anything more than that with an animal. It went right down, it died within 10 seconds, which is uh, very good. So, we're gonna be eating tonight, and we've got some meat, and uh, Big Bull is down. That's a wrap. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. Boys and girls, men and women across the nation, that is a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching AP Bassing. This is my radio voice, and let's just say I didn't make it on the radio. <laughs> okay, seriously, um, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, if you've watched all of the Argentina videos, it was a very fun and exciting trip. I appreciate people following along in my life because, uh, yeah, I kind of wasn't there for a little while. So it's cool that there's still people that want to watch my videos. That being said, I feel like it's been a while since I've been able to sit down and actually ask you guys some questions. So I wanted to know, I went on another trip to New Zealand. Uh, you guys probably have watched the first episode on the Barstool channel. If you haven't, you should go check it out. But... I was thinking I was going to make one long video, maybe an hour-long video out of New Zealand, call it the New Zealand movie, and have that try and come out in a couple days from now. Like, I've been working on the video, like the first video, and I feel like I want to include all the fishing, all of the hunting, all into one video. If you guys think that's a good idea, please comment below, and if you'd like, like to watch a long video like that, or if you think I should break it up into three to four videos like this, I'm just not sure. So there's that question for you guys. I also want to know if you guys are enjoying the hunting because I've went on a couple more hunting trips and I have, you know, a surprise trip where me and the slock master went on and I have that footage. I also have a footage where I just came back from Nebraska 
So I have that footage. So I've got a lot of different hunting videos. And if you guys want to see them, I'm going to edit them for you and put them out. And then my last question, if you guys could just, you know, at least a couple of you answer a few of these questions for me, because I appreciate feedback. And if it's negative, I don't care. Like I've uh, learned to be able to take that. I need, I need some negative criticism because I want to be able to adapt and become, you know, cooler, better, not cooler. I want to become, I want to take people's advice, but I also want to create my own plan. So, but I, I want to take it into consideration, like what you guys want to see, because you guys are watching the videos, right? And the last question is, what was the last question? The long form video, do you guys enjoy the hunting videos? Oh, pff, yellow. I know a lot of you guys have asked what I use to edit. I edit all my videos now on Final Cut. I originally started on iMovie, which is your basic editing software you get with your computer. Then I moved to Final Cut. Then I moved to Premiere Pro Adobe. I do all my photo editing in Adobe. Um, and then I moved back to Final Cut because it was quicker for me to edit these videos. I'm pondering the idea of getting an editor. Everybody around me says that I can't upload these videos and go and like keep producing as many as I want to without an editor. But I'm also under the impression that I like how these last couple videos have been like even before I went on this long hiatus where I was just at this house chilling making funny videos with this mic I feel like they're more personal when it's just me editing me filming like when I had uh Sobe working for me who was my old full-time cameraman who worked for me for like two years we were able to like pump out crazy amounts of content and the videos were really good because he's a way better editor than me but I also feel like it loses I love YouTube because it's low quality budget a lot of the time. Like it's like you feel like you're part of that person. But also I feel the need for like better edited content because I'm not that great at editing. I don't know. Comment below what you think about the editing of these last couple videos. Uh, if they're easy to watch. If you think I'm there's too much fluff in them. Yeah. I just want to know your guys' opinions. So there's that. Um, you guys are probably going to ask if I was able to bring back the meat uh, from Argentina. Unfortunately, I wasn't. Uh, we ate as much red stag as we could. Obviously, there you saw the back straps. Such an amazing animal to eat. They have so much, f not so much fat, I shouldn't say. It's not like a cow, but they have way more fat than venison. And I love fatty meats. I think that it adds, you know, that richness to it. Um, and the rest of the meat that we didn't eat, they turned it into some sort of Spanish sausage and like sold it to market uh, to help cover the cost of the hunts. So that was pretty cool too. Nothing got wasted. I am, you know, going to mount the, uh, the beast. So I'm going to have that in a couple years, hopefully, and be able to show you guys the mount, my first ever big game mount. Well, I guess I mounted the whitetail this year too, but yeah, I killed a whitetail. I don't know if uh, you guys have seen that. Probably. I feel like a lot of people watch the same videos on the internet, like but I don't know if you guys watch my, me on other, I don't know if you guys watch me on other channels for you to know that I killed a whitetail, but that's besides the point. The point of the matter is Argentina is officially a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, this is AP Bassin. My name is Alex. I'm going to get back to editing because the list is long. The vlog list is long. We'll catch you guys next time on AP Bassin.